China is on the brink of a groundbreaking moment in space exploration with the launch of the Tianzhou 8 cargo spacecraft. This mission will supply essential provisions to the Tiangong space station crew, while also carrying an unprecedented experiment lunar soil bricks. These bricks are designed to test the viability of constructing structures on the moon using locally sourced materials, a key step toward establishing a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface. As China competes with global superpowers in the space arena, Tianzhou 8's advanced payload capabilities and ambitious objectives highlight the nation's relentless innovation. In this video, we'll explore the impressive technology behind this mission and the game-changing potential of lunar construction. The Tianzhou 8 mission represents a significant leap in space logistics, with China's commitment to pioneering advancements that optimize cargo transport to its space station. At the heart of this mission lies Tianzhou 8's exceptional payload capacity. Boasting a load limit of 7.4 tons, Tianzhou 8 sets itself apart from similar cargo vessels, such as SpaceX's Dragon, which carries a maximum of 6 tons. This substantial increase enables China to transport more supplies per mission, thereby reducing the frequency of launches required to sustain the Tiangong space station. In addition to its unmatched cargo load, Tianzhou 8 brings refinements to the overall structure and functionality of China's cargo spacecraft. One key improvement is in docking mechanisms, with Tianzhou 8 able to complete backward docking, a feature that enhances both security and stability during the docking process. These technical upgrades ensure not only efficiency, but also a high level of control during the critical moments of docking with the space station. China has also optimized its resupply schedule. Previously, it launched two Tianzhou missions annually now, by maximizing cargo efficiency, the mission frequency has shifted to three missions every two years. This shift results in a mission every eight months, offering a sustainable balance between logistical support and operational cost. These changes highlight China's ambition to match and exceed global standards, contributing to a steady, sustainable operational model for maintaining a permanent space presence. The technological strides demonstrated in Tianzhou 8 underscore China's commitment to comprehensive advancements in space infrastructure. Such innovations allow the Tiangong Space Station to sustain extended crewed missions of up to 10 months, marking a significant milestone in China's space program. This mission not only bolsters China's capability to support long-term human presence in space, but also establishes the Tianzhou series as a global leader in space logistics, showcasing a blueprint for efficient, high-capacity cargo transport that could inspire future international missions. One of Tianzhou 8's primary goals is to support China's Shenzhou 19 crew currently aboard the Tiangong space station, along with preparations for the arrival of the next crew, Shenzhou 20. This mission goes beyond the basic resupply needs Tianzhou 8 carries a broad array of provisions designed for long-duration space missions, aligning with China's ambition to enable Taikonauts to live and work in space for extended periods. The cargo includes essential supplies such as food, water, and fuel, along with other life support equipment necessary to maintain a stable environment aboard the station. Additionally, personalized items are on board, including festival packages for cultural celebrations like the Spring Festival, Mid-Autumn Festival, and Dragon Boat Festival. Birthdays are also thoughtfully celebrated, with special gifts prepared for each Taikonaut celebrating a birthday in orbit. These personal touches not only boost morale but also underscore the commitment to enhancing the mental and emotional well-being of astronauts on long missions, a crucial element for effective performance in space. Moreover, Tianzhou 8 is equipped with advanced scientific equipment to support ongoing experiments and technological research. These materials allow the crew to conduct a range of tests aimed at advancing human understanding of space's impact on biology, chemistry, and physics. The results from these studies are invaluable for both current and future missions, particularly as the data collected will contribute to improving the safety and sustainability of extended space habitation. This mission also underscores China's commitment to long-duration space missions. Through continuous support and the strategic planning of supplies, the Tianzhou 8 mission highlights a broader goal to ensure the Tiangong space station can sustain human presence for nearly a year without interruption. 
By mastering this capability, China is positioning itself to not only sustain extended stays in low Earth orbit, but also to expand its reach toward more ambitious goals, such as lunar and potentially interplanetary exploration. A particularly innovative aspect of the Tianzhou 8 mission is the inclusion of lunar soil bricks. These experimental bricks represent a potential game-changer in lunar exploration, as they are crafted from materials that mimic the properties of lunar soil. Designed to undergo exposure experiments on the Tiangong space station, these bricks will be tested to see if they could be viable for constructing buildings on the moon, a revolutionary step toward a future where humanity could establish a permanent lunar base. The science behind these bricks is impressive. They consist of a simulated lunar material similar to basalt, resembling the soil found in the lunar mare, the region where China's Chang'e 5 mission landed. These bricks are robust, with a compressive strength that exceeds standard red bricks and concrete bricks by threefold a square centimeter can support over 10 tons of weight. The experiment aims to validate the brick's structural integrity under the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperature changes, cosmic radiation, and the absence of an atmospheric layer. What makes this experiment so significant is its alignment with China's long-term vision for lunar exploration. Transporting building materials from Earth to the Moon is not only costly but also logistically complex. By developing bricks that can be manufactured using resources available on the Moon, China hopes to create self-sustaining lunar habitats that minimize the need for Earth-supplied materials. This approach aligns with resource-efficient strategies, reducing environmental impact and dependency on costly Earth-bound logistics. The success of these bricks could lay the groundwork for future lunar construction projects, providing a foundation for sustainable lunar bases that support human exploration and scientific research. These lunar soil bricks also represent a key intersection between China's lunar exploration program and its space station initiatives. By testing these bricks in orbit, Chinese scientists can gather critical data that will inform the construction techniques for the Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions, which are set to land in lunar highlands composed mainly of plagioclase. The Tianzhou 8 mission, therefore, acts as a vital bridge, linking current orbital research with future lunar construction goals and underscoring China's comprehensive and interconnected approach to space exploration. In this video, we explored China's groundbreaking Tianzhou 8 mission, showcasing advanced cargo capabilities, extended support for long-duration space missions, and the innovative lunar soil bricks experiment aimed at future lunar construction. This mission marks a bold step in space exploration, bringing us closer to sustainable lunar habitats and highlighting China's commitment to pioneering space technology. We hope you found it insightful. If you did, please give us a like, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on space exploration. Don't forget to leave a comment below to share your thoughts on this news and let us know what you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching and see you next time.